save everybody time and not have me draw, I started example three before beginning this video. So to explain what I just drew, I am drawing essentially a goal box and a soccer goal. And this, this blue line, this is a person giving a corner kick, trying to get it to this blue dot, which is another player over here. Try to make it clear. And essentially, this person is doing a corner kick over here so that this player can kick it into the goal. And we can see that it's 40 yards from here to the end of that goal box, but the player is positioned right here on the edge. 12 yards away from the very edge of the goal. How far does the corner kick have to go to reach this player? Well, to do that, I'm gonna draw a hypotenuse to this triangle. And you can see that it forms a right triangle. And so we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem and we know by the Pythagorean theorem that this is the hypotenuse, this is a leg, this is a leg, that 40 squared plus 12 squared has to equal C squared, whatever that hypotenuse, hypotenuse is. So 40 squared is gonna give us 1600. 12 squared is gonna give us 144 equals C squared. When I add this together, I get 1744 equals c squared. And then if I take the square root, I am going to end up with 42. c equals 42. And so my answer is going to be that ball was kicked 42 yards to reach the other player for it to go within the goal. Okay? The very last part of this lesson is finally, how do you know if you have a right triangle? And that's gonna uh, be uh, examples four and five. So let's remember that the Pythagorean theorem told us if it's a right, if you know you have a right triangle, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And the converse says, if you have a triangle such that a squared plus b squared equals c squared, then it must be a right triangle. So we are now then able to tell if something is a right triangle. So example four is determine right triangles. How do we know? Well, we've been given all the tools to find out. So part A says, okay, We've got three sides, 8, 15, and 17. And we know that the hypotenuse is always the bigger side. And so this 18 and 15 have to be the legs. And so if we take this and we say, okay, well, a squared plus b squared equals c squared. If it's a right triangle, these will work out. So let's try it. 8 squared plus 15 squared equals 17 squared. Is that true? Is that a true statement? Well, if we do that out, we get 64 plus 15 squared is 225 and 17 squared is 289. Are these things equal? Yes, you can see if you add this, you're gonna get 289 equals 289. This is a true statement. And therefore, yes, it's a right triangle. So these legs, these three lengths, give us a right triangle. Okay, I should underline this so we know what we're doing. Okay, let's do part B. And part B is going to give us three more lengths. Are the lengths five, eight, nine, do they constitute a right triangle? Just as I did up here, 
I have a squared plus b squared equals c squared. And I'm going to put in 5 squared plus 8 squared equals 9 squared because these are the smaller lengths. And if this is indeed a right triangle, the 9 is going to be my hypotenuse. So I get 25 plus 64 equals 81. Is that a true statement? We can see almost right away that 5 and 4 are not going to add up to 1. You're in fact going to get 89 equals 81, which is a false statement. So this is not a right triangle. Not a right triangle. You're going to have several problems like this in the homework. Uh, where you're going to have to determine what is a right triangle and what is not. All right, we are almost at the end. Uh, the last portion is just a word problem application of this principle. And um, this, and I'm going to read it to you, and I'm going to write it exactly the way that I would want you to do in the homework. So example five is the construction worker. A construction worker is making sure that one corner of the foundation of the house is a right triangle. So he's got this corner, the foundation of a house, and probably wants to do some work on it, and he just needs to know, is this a right triangle? So it's literally um, trying to figure out, is can I put that little square here? Is it really a right triangle? So to do this, he's going to do two things. First, he's gonna make a mark eight feet from one side, from the corner. So he's gonna measure eight feet to here. And then on the other side, he's gonna measure six feet to there. And then he's gonna chew Take his measuring tape and here's his side C and he's going to try to find out if 6 squared plus 8 squared is going to equal to C squared and if so he can now confidently do whatever construction he needs to make knowing that this is a right triangle. So is 6 squared plus 8 squared equal to C squared? Well, that's 36 plus 64 equals c squared. That's 100 equals c squared. And if you take the square root of both sides, it shows us c equals 10. So yes, indeed, this is a right uh, angle, actually. So in other words, this foundation, uh, this corner of the foundation is indeed at a right angle. And he can go forward and do what he needs to do. That is the end of 11.4, and uh, tomorrow I'll begin 11.5, which goes into some more details with Pythagorean theorem.